welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be filming the perfect imperfections tag and you guys must have seen this go around YouTube heaps and heaps and heaps it was actually initiated by um, Andrea's choice basically if you haven't watched this tag video already what you have to do is list three of your imperfections and three of your perfections I know a few people do physical and personality imperfections but I think I'm just gonna stick with physical imperfections because I think that's what the tag was initiated so I made a really long list of my imperfections. I don't think anybody is perfect as much as like you see someone in front of the camera on a magazine Anything and they always look really perfect There's always something about them that they don't like about themselves So whether you think they're perfect or not is a different story Okay, so there's a whole list of things that I actually wrote down about my imperfections And I thought I'd just share some of them with you guys because obviously I can't list like the whole thing or you guys are just gonna get really bored me talking okay imperfections the number one thing that I really 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 did not like about myself is my thighs now um, if you guys follow my blog then you probably have seen photos of my thighs before like not that I intentionally show you guys my thighs but um, there may have been like more full body shots or like half body shots where you guys can actually see my thighs and um, they are really really chubby like I don't like my thighs the, the rest of my body isn't that bad but it's just my thighs that I can never ever lose weight on they just every time I eat my the weight and the fat just goes onto my thighs so I hate my thighs I really really wish that they would just slim down I've tried a lot of methods in trying to slim them down but it just never works so I really 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 dislike my thighs my second imperfection would be my shoulders. Now, um, it's kind of a weird imperfection to say, but I really, really don't like my shoulders. You probably can't see it on camera or like, you probably won't be able to tell in real life, but it's just something that really, really bugs me. And it's more, not really my shoulders, but more like my back. When I was in high school, um, I used to kind of hunch up my back because I thought it was kind of cool. I don't know. I, think, I guess it was just a little phase. I think I did it for about two years. And after that, I just got in to the habit of doing that so now like I don't have a particularly straight back and my back especially just this part right here like the top part here it's always kind of a little bit hunched forward and I can't do anything about it no matter how much I try to sit up straight I always end up just naturally hunching back down again it's really not that bad but I notice it a lot when I'm wearing like bikinis or like something like that and my hair isn't covering my back so that's one reason why I didn't like short hair when I cut it short because you could always see my back and I just really really don't like the shape of my back and then the third thing I don't like about myself is my jaw so um, if you guys can't already tell I've got a pretty square face like my jaw is pretty wide like it's about this wide Whereas normally I think someone's jaw would be like this wide So I really really hate my jaws and how it looks so wide in photos if I smile really really big It'll look like I've got a really 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 chubby face, which I don't well my face is Slightly on the chubby side, but it's really not that chubby. So um, my jawline really really makes my my cheeks and my whole face look chubby especially if I'm like really really close up to the camera and um, yes yeah, so I really really hate my jaw okay and then on to the perfections um, I wouldn't really call myself at all perfect so um, I guess these are just things that I sort of like about myself. The first thing I like about myself is definitely my mouth. Um, I don't think I've got a big mouth and like in terms of lips, um, I actually think that my mouth size is just right. I don't really like big lips even though like that whole Angelina Jolie phase is going around. I never really liked big lips and I was never really a big fan of it. So I actually really like my lips and with my lips you could really do a lot of more of those Gato looks because because um, normally they nude out the lips and my lips aren't too thin but they're not too thick so that's what I kind of like about them I think that they're the perfect size in my own opinion anyway but I don't think that they're perfect um, I'd like it if I had more of a shape to my lip but in terms of the size of my lip and the size of my mouth I think it's pretty good the next thing I like about myself is my skin I think my skin is actually um, quite good for 
for my age, I guess. So when I was younger, I never actually used foundation. I only started wearing foundation when I was probably about 20. So um, my skin has been pretty good. And the only breakouts I've ever had are probably when I seriously just use the wrong product. Like right now, I have a little bit of a breakout. You can't actually see it at all because when I say little, I mean like probably like two or three pimples and like little lumps around and that was from using my MAC Studio Fix but other than that I don't really get any breakouts my skin is sensitive but for some reason I can take I can put up with a lot of um, skin products so nothing really breaks me up that bad and my skin has been pretty good so I've never had like um, a lot of acne on my face and my skin has been pretty clear the last thing I like about myself is my hair. I have this kind of love-hate relationship with my hair. I actually really like the texture of my hair because I've bleached it so many times. I've pretty much, I've been dyeing my hair since I was in year 7. Um, that was when I was about 13. And I dyed all sorts of colours of the rainbow. So I've dyed it blue, I've dyed it green, I've dyed it pink. I've dyed it orange, blonde, brown, black, um, purple, red. I've done, I've really dyed it every color you can think of and it's still pretty well so I seriously think that the condition of my hair is good except the only downfall about my hair is that it doesn't grow very fast um, that could be the consequences of all the dyeing and all that but um, my nails go really really fast for some reason but my hair just doesn't seem to be able to catch up so that's I guess one thing that I don't like about my hair but um, the fact that it's really still so smooth and um, you know it, it doesn't really have that much split ends and I've actually bleached and done everything to it that you could think of so I actually think my hair is in pretty good condition considering all those things that I've done to it. So that's about it for my imperfections tag. Um, I know that this video is pretty short comparing to the other gurus videos but there really isn't much to say about my imperfections and my perfections. Um, in terms of my imperfections I have like so many more things I'm on the list but I guess we can always get to that later or maybe I'll just make like a really really long blog post on my blog like listing all of my imperfections but you guys probably wouldn't want to read that anyway because that'd be like crazy like why would you want to know about my imperfections and my perfections you know um but yeah okay so that's about it um also, I wanted to let you guys know that I was shortlisted for one of the Clinique It Girls. I don't know how many people out of how many people and what I had to do was actually just a tutorial on my favourite eyeliner look and the eyeliner look that I did is the one that I'm wearing right now. So I guess it's just kind of like a pop puck bomb inspired um, eyeliner look. I actually added a bit of teal glitter liner on it which you probably can't really see at the moment but yeah I did this look. I'm telling you guys this not because you guys need to vote for me or anything but just because I might be posting up the tutorial on my um, YouTube channel if um, the Clinique company lets me. This video is actually just meant to be sent to them so maybe after the competition ends I will be able to post it onto this channel but if not um, I'll probably do another tutorial on this look because I actually really like it but for the look we were only allowed to use eyeliner so in my tutorial I might add some eyelashes I'm not too sure but yeah so um, thanks for watching once again and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!